Hello, everyone, and welcome to our latest video where we dive into the fascinating history of the Tower of London, a site brimming with tales of intrigue, power, and mystery. Join us as we explore its ancient walls, uncovering secrets from the past and the many roles this iconic fortress has played throughout English history. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below to stay updated on our journey through history's most intriguing landmarks. The Tower of London is a historic castle located on the north bank of the River Thames in central London. Originally built by William the Conqueror in 1066, it has served as a royal residence, a prison, an armory, and even a treasury over its long history. The tower is famously known for housing the crown jewels of England, which includes some of the world's most exquisite and priceless gemstones and royal artifacts. It has also been a significant site of historical events, including the imprisonment and execution of several figures of royalty and nobility. Today, the Tower of London is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and one of the UK's most popular tourist attractions, known for its iconic beefeaters and the legend of the Ravens, whose presence is believed to protect the crown and the tower. To visit the Tower of London, one of the easiest and most common methods is to use London's extensive public transport system, if you're taking the London Underground, the nearest tube station is Tower Hill, served by the Circle and District Lines, which is just a short walk away from the tower. Alternatively, you can use the Docklands Light Railway DLR, and disembark at Tower Gateway Station, which is also within walking distance. For those preferring to travel by bus, several routes, including numbers 15, 42, 78, 100, and RV1, stop near the Tower of London. Additionally, for a more scenic route, you can opt for a riverboat service along the Thames, disembarking at the Tower Pier, which offers a unique and picturesque approach to this historic landmark. The Tower of London's history begins in 1066, following the Norman conquest of England, when William the Conqueror established the White Tower as a symbol of his power over London. Throughout the centuries, it has played multiple roles, royal residence, treasury, mint, armory, and even a zoo. It gained infamy as a prison and execution site, with notable prisoners including Anne Boleyn, Sir Thomas More, and Elizabeth I before she became queen. The tower also houses the crown jewels, which have been safeguarded here since the 14th century. Surviving fires, wars, and political upheavals, the Tower of London stands today not only as a world heritage site but also as a compelling testament to British history. Inside the Tower of London, visitors can explore a wealth of historical and cultural treasures. The White Tower, the oldest part of the complex, houses the Royal Armouries collection, displaying a vast array of armaments and armour used throughout English history. The Jewel House is another highlight, safeguarding the crown jewels, a stunning collection of regalia, crowns, and other precious items symbolizing the British monarchy. The medieval palace area gives insight into the lives of past kings and queens who resided there, with recreated living quarters and period furnishings. Additionally, the tower's grounds are home to the famous ravens, the yeoman warders, or beefeaters, who offer guided tours, and various towers and exhibits that delve into its rich and often grisly history as a fortress, royal palace, and prison. The Tower of London, an architectural marvel, was built by hand using Kentish ragstone, a durable stone quarried in Kent, embodying the craftsmanship of the era. Historically, the tower gained a grim reputation as a prison, incarcerating notable figures like Anne Boleyn and Guy Fawkes, and becoming synonymous with torture and execution. Uniquely, the tower also served as a royal menagerie, or zoo, housing exotic animals such as lions, bears, and elephants, presented as royal gifts. For over 500 years, most of England's coins were minted within the tower, in a process that was both an art and a science, integral to the nation's economy. Today, the Tower of London is most famous for housing the crown jewels, a breathtaking collection of crowns, scepters, and regalia, symbolizing centuries of British monarchy. At the Tower of London, visitors can marvel at the crown jewels, an extraordinary collection of royal regalia and gemstones housed in the Jewel House. The White Tower, the oldest part of the complex, offers a glimpse into medieval life and displays the Royal Armouries collection, including historic armor and weaponry. The Bloody Tower, infamous for its role in the mysterious disappearance of the princes in the tower, provides a fascinating yet somber historical experience. 
The medieval palace recreates the luxurious living quarters of past kings and queens, complete with period furnishings and decorations. Additionally, the tower's famous yeoman warders, known as Beefeaters, conduct engaging tours, sharing tales and legends associated with the tower's long and varied history. The best time to visit the Tower of London is often during the spring, April to June, or early autumn, September to October, when the weather is mild and pleasant, making outdoor exploration more enjoyable. Early morning or late afternoon visits are advisable to avoid the large crowds that gather during midday, especially during peak tourist season in the summer months. Winter visits can also be charming, particularly around Christmas when festive decorations add to the ambience, though it's important to dress warmly. Visiting on weekdays rather than weekends can result in a less crowded experience, allowing for a more leisurely exploration of the site. Additionally, checking for any special events or exhibitions beforehand can enhance the visit, as the tower often hosts unique displays and historical reenactments. Entry tickets to the Tower of London are priced differently for adults, children, students, and seniors, with family ticket options also available for added savings. Adult ticket prices generally fall around £25 to £30, while prices for children, ages 5 to 15, are typically about half that of adult tickets. There are concessions available for students and seniors, usually amounting to a few pounds less than the adult price. It's often more economical to purchase tickets online, as there's usually a discount compared to buying them at the gate. Additionally, the Tower of London sometimes offers annual passes or membership options, which can provide unlimited access for a year and are a great value for frequent visitors or locals. The Tower of London is undoubtedly worth visiting for its rich historical significance and architectural grandeur. As a UNESCO World Heritage Site, it offers a unique glimpse into over 1,000 years of British history, from the Norman Conquest to modern times. The display of the Crown Jewels, a stunning collection of royal artefacts, is a highlight that attracts visitors from all over the world. The tower's history as a royal palace, prison, and even a zoo, along with its iconic beefeaters and resident ravens, provide a diverse and engaging experience for all ages. Furthermore, the panoramic views of the River Thames and the London skyline from the tower's ramparts are simply breathtaking, making it a must-visit landmark for both history enthusiasts and casual tourists alike. Inside the Tower of London, visitors have limited but delightful dining options, including the new Armouries Café, which offers a range of meals, snacks, and beverages suitable for a quick lunch or a relaxing break. For those looking for a more substantial meal, the nearby historic St. Catherine Docks area hosts a variety of restaurants and eateries, serving everything from traditional British cuisine to international dishes. Additionally, visitors can enjoy the classic British experience of afternoon tea at the Tower's Wharf, providing a perfect way to relax and soak in the views after exploring the historic site. At the Tower of London, the gift shops offer a variety of unique souvenirs that capture the essence of this historic landmark. Visitors can find a wide range of items, from replica crown jewels and royal-themed gifts to books on British history and traditional beefeater teddy bears. Additionally, for those interested in medieval armor and weaponry, the shops also sell intricately designed replicas, making for distinctive and memorable keepsakes from your visit to the tower. While staying inside the Tower of London itself is not possible, there are numerous accommodation options in the surrounding areas to suit different preferences and budgets. Hotels in the nearby city of London and along the River Thames provide easy access to the tower, along with stunning views of the river and city skyline. For a more immersive historical experience, some nearby hotels and converted historic buildings offer a unique blend of modern luxury and historical charm, making your stay in London memorable. Thank you for joining us on this captivating journey through the Tower of London, where history comes alive in its storied halls and towers. If you enjoyed uncovering the secrets and stories of this historic fortress with us, please give this video a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments. And remember, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more fascinating explorations into the world's most intriguing historical sites.